How to reflect. Refle Self-reflection is merely the action of translating life's experiences into wisdom. That's it. And this has a lot of advantages for you in your career and in your personal life, because if you're taking those experiences and you're really discerning what they mean for you, you're able to learn and grow from that. And over time, it builds and it really accelerates your professional growth and your personal growth, of course. But the key is in this is a lot of times people never start or they don't do it regularly because it seems way too abstract and way too difficult to do. But I'm here to share with you today it's actually easier than you might realize. So I'm going to share a little bit about how I reflect. And then you can pick and choose a couple ideas from this for your own personal self-reflection process. So to kick this off, the first thing to think about is what's an action you can do that actually helps you think. Okay, so for example, I'm walking right now. And a lot of times for people, myself included, walking helps me think okay so that's the first piece of this the second piece of this is is to choose something okay choose something to think about the best way to do this is to pull up your calendar look back over the last week pick a meeting an experience you had that you want to dig a little bit deeper on and maybe glean a little bit of the benefit from that experience in a new and different way maybe grow a little bit from it and then the third piece of this just to ask yourself what did i learn Okay, so it may sound kind of, still kind of cheesy and a little too simple, but this process can really add a lot of goodness to your personal growth. Um, so let's break this down a little bit more. So step one, a process that you do or an action you can take that will help you learn and grow or a great place where you can think along the way. For me, it's walking or doing these videos. It's often journaling. It's talking my ideas out that help me take them a little bit deeper and help me think through it. For you, it might just be sitting alone in a room. It could be yoga, it could be going to the park, it could be spending time with your family, it could be snow skiing. For some reason, a lot of people I know have a lot of great reflections when they're snow skiing. Uh, for me, I spend a lot of my time in terror when I'm on snow skis. I don't, it doesn't really help my self-reflection, but it might just be the thing for you. So again, step one is to choose something to do. Number, number two, of course, is to think about something that happened, an experience you had, or something you did, an action you took that you want to take a little bit more deeply, okay? And so for me... Maybe I was just actually sitting in church and I had an idea that uh, I'm gonna think about later. Kind of came to me uh, while I was listening to the homily. So I'm gonna choose that and you'll probably see a video on that later this week. And then number three is just to ask yourself, what did you learn? So what did I learn from the homily? What did I learn from that meeting? Either there are a whole host of things that have happened during your week that you probably don't even realize that you could choose to think about. So for you, go through these three steps this week. Schedule a little time on your calendar. You can do it in probably 15 to 20 minutes and notice the amount of growth. Notice how it feels. Notice what the experience of self-reflection is like for you. And then notice how it can supercharge your workday.